It is that time again to talk about course requests for next year. So I want to quickly go over the process of requesting your classes for next school year. Um, right now I'm logged into Crusader Connect as a student. I'm looking at the resources page. I'm going to go up here to my day and I'm going to click course requests and you will see the rules uh, pop up in here and you're going to want to make sure and take a look at those. Um, most notably it's probably a good idea that you would meet with a counselor to talk about your courses and have questions and things like that. These are the calendars. Uh, calendar links for those counselors. The courses are listed down here by department. Now the student that I am pretending to be at this point um, is a senior student. One of the things that we know um, is required for all students at Faith Lutheran is a theology class. I go down and I click on the theology department. The Faith 4 class is available for this person to request and so therefore I can hit request for theology because I know I'm going to have to take that. I go up here to the right side and I can see that Faith 4 is one of my requests now. Um, I also know that as a senior I'm going to have to take government. Um, there are three options for government, U.S. Government Econ, AP U.S. Government Econ, or AP U.S. Government Econ with We the People. Um, let's just say for this purpose we're going to go ahead and request regular U.S. Government and Econ, and you can see that is listed up there now too. Um, the other thing I need to do each year of high school is have an English class. These are the English classes that are available for seniors to take. Um, say I have not yet taken British literature and so therefore British literature is the English class I want to take next year and so I go ahead and I click request on that British literature class and there we go we've got one two three of my eight classes already listed over there. Um, let's say I do need to take a fourth math for graduation um, I'm in Algebra 2 right now, let's say, so next year I want to take pre-calculus, so we'll go ahead and request pre-calculus. Um, I do also, even though I've taken three sciences already, I want to take a science class next year as well. All the science classes are listed here. Um, I'm interested in taking uh, Marine and Desert Biology, so I go ahead and request Marine and Desert Biology, and now I have five classes listed over here, and these are my core classes. Um, let's say I'm also happen to be a, a baseball player or a softball player or I run track or something like that and so therefore I know that I'm going to have to be in the athletic performance class and so I'm going to open the physical education department here I'm going to go down I'm going to find this athletic performance class and I'm going to click on athletic performance right there and therefore now I have my six classes listed there um, that are the classes that I know I have to take um, in order to graduate and in order to do the things that I want to do. Now I have two other spots. Everybody at Faith Lutheran takes eight classes. I have two other spots listed there. There's a couple of different things I can do with those spots, um, including end up with more than eight requests by the end. But um, let's say you know, I'm a senior. I want to take my. I want to take at least one early dismissal. Um, and so I'm going to go ahead and make sure I have to request those if I want an early dismissal or if I want a study hall, I have to request those. Those are found in the general elective section here. Here's early dismissal. Let's say early dismissal one and early dismissal two. And there we go. Here's my six on ground classes and then my early dismissal that I'm requesting each day. Uh, but then I'm not done there yet. I, there's a, I haven't taken, let's say I haven't taken my computer science class yet, uh, but I still want to have my early dismissals, and so therefore I'm going to go and I'm going to look at the Faith Lutheran Online Department here uh, because I want to take my computer science class online. I don't want to have to stay at, at school and, and not get my early dismissal that I've been planning on for all of high school. And so I'm going to go through here and I can see... The computer science principles here is a computer science class that is offered um, online through Faith Lutheran Online at the, that I can take. You'll see each of these classes that are available 
has an A and then a B. So this Chemistry 1A, that's first semester Chemistry 1. Chemistry 1B is second semester Chemistry. So computer science principles, what I want to do is I want to take this class um, next year. And so I don't need to request both semesters of it if I just request computer science principles A, which is going to start me at the beginning, which is the first semester of that class, then it will automatically, during the second semester of next year, I will be enrolled in the computer science principles B class. But if I go up here and I look at computer science principles A, I do have to select what term. I could start that. I could take, because it's an online class, I could take it in the summer if I wanted to. So there's summer semester as an availability but what I want to do is I want to take first semester of next year and then the second semester of class that class I will take during the second semester of last year, next year. Um, if I wanted to, I could mark this one as summer semester for computer science principles A and then go back down here and request computer science principles B and I could mark that as first semester. And then by Christmas, then I'm done with my computer science class, um, is how I could do that if I wanted to. Um, make sure that at the very end, always what you want to be doing um, after you've gone through and you've requested your classes, at the very bottom right, and you can't see it in this video, but the very bottom right, um, there is a little red save button. And you need to be able to click that save button. Um, in order for those requests to be saved. If you don't click save, it's not going to save them, and then you're not going to have any requests, and then the counselors are going to have to choose your classes for you, and you don't want that. Make sure that if you have any questions during this process that you are reaching out to a counselor um, or to Mr. Baikuma and myself um, with your questions so that you can make sure that you're requesting the things that you want to request and you're doing it correctly.